What's happening, Champion Squad? Welcome your beautiful faces back to the channel. Today, we're doing part two of the coaching series that I actually started last week. So this is going to be the next video we are reviewing. Shout out to this guy, M8 Gaming. I was going to drop a like on his video. I'll leave his original video down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And a quick little update for this series is that if you want your video featured, do not post it on the community tab anymore. I made a community post that you have to put your level, KD, and how many total kills you have, and then a link to your YouTube video that you want to be reviewed. Viewed. However, YouTube is being a baby and it's blocking most of the comments that have links. Now, they usually go in my reviewed comment section and I accept them, but it doesn't even come up on the community post. So it's kind of weird. The new way we're going to do it is jump on Twitter. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you want your video featured and DM me. So how many total kills you have, your KD ratio, and what level you are in the game, as well as followed with the link to your YouTube video. This is going to be the best way only because YouTube is sort of just blocking out those comments and it's really annoying. Without further ado, we're going to hop into this guy's gameplay. Now this gameplay is an actual ranked game and a full game, so I'm excited about that. So as we can tell, it's a silver lobby. He's got a full three stack, I'm assuming. I don't know if he's parted up with anyone. So we're just going to go based off of that he is, and he is playing Wraith. So I can give him some good pointers since I'm a Wraith man. All right, so he's Silver 3. And this is the newest split as well, so we're on World's Edge, which is awesome. An updated rank game for you guys. Looks like they're going to go Harvester. All right. Again, if you guys are new to the series, this is going to be reviewing people's gameplays, analyzing the mistakes, figuring out what they could do better in the situation, what I would do on top of that. My man fell off the map. Holy smokes. All right, so he's got a team with them. They landed contested. He didn't get a gun, so he's battling the scene. Let's see what he does here. Reaper most likely has a weapon. That lifeline's down. Oh, he's getting aped right now. Good phase. Yeah, right now you're just stalling. You, you got to find a weapon. Maybe the bin's outside or... Oh, is he gonna get the oh he gets the kill? Let's go. My man. Oh, they're there though. He can't loot the box. Bang should have smoked that box out for him. So if you're partnered with Bang and Bang is actually your friend, this Reaper guy, um, yeah, that would have been a perfect smoke to smoke out your box. So say that way you can get your weapon at least one weapon. Anything like that. White swap with a mosey. I like it. So it's a 2v2 right now. He doesn't have the best weapons. Good strafe right there. I love that. Love to see it. Made him miss a lot of shots there. It was beautiful. Alright, so Reaper gets one down. Now it's a 2v1. Oh, his Loba didn't work. His TP didn't work. That guy feels bad, man. Nice. There we go. A little quick uh, squad wipe there. Now you got the weapons. There you go. So nothing really to say about that clip. You backed off when you needed to. You didn't have a weapon. You went with your teammate to help you out. And that's good. But again, falling back to that bang. Let's back it up real quick. Right here. So as soon as you got that finisher off, they were both in front of you. If bang had smoked you out he should actually smoke you out while you were doing the finisher so you don't get shot at but that would have went justice then you would have been able to get the loot and fought the 2v2 right there on the spot so your loader right now you got the massive flat line pretty up close combo there especially that they took out the anvil rounds off the flat line so you don't really have much far range coverage so that's a problem if it gets spicy you get it two times on the massive which i really don't prefer either i would use iron sight or a one times optic so it looks like they're just taking the blue and rotating out to tree and going to get their res on their teammate. And this place is actually not even hit, so that's pretty cool. That way your teammate can get loot now and get you guys back in the fight, playing together, playing it smart. All right, guys, I cut that forward just because they just spent that time looting tree. Now they rotate over to Sorting Factory. It looks like they see some people over there. Which do they decide to make the play on or no? Nope, they hear there's a res right here in sorting. So if this gunfight gets hectic and it takes a while, that harvester team is gonna third party. So just keep that in the back of your head. You know that team's gonna be there to third you.
I'm going to go back on this real quick, boys. Crucial mistake right here. So your bank teammate is on top. You went to the bottom to try to kill this person that got res right away. So bank ulted, which is a complete mistake in my opinion, because you really need to save the bang ult. Bang ult goes super huge in a lot of situations. It stalls the enemy back, and it, if they want to hit into it, they get stunned and do a lot of damage on them. So the problem with this ult here is that you don't know where the whole team is. You have no idea where they are. You heard the res, and then you guys both full sent. Bang went from the top, you went from the bottom, and you actually also made a portal. Now you guys both wasted your ultimates, and nothing really happened. Now you got to save it until you know for sure where their positioning is, especially with that bang ult. Now that portal wasn't too, too bad, although, because you do have a safety net to back up just in case if they were there. But again, make sure, verify where the enemies are before you're using precious stuff like your ultimates, your portal, the bang ult. Make sure you're verifying it. So it looks like they backed up into this big factory over here. Let's see what's going on. See if they want to take the fight or not. Okay, not a bad squad wipe. So a few things I want to pick out during this gunfight is it was a good jump pad. You double jumped onto the roof with your teammate. That was awesome. However, exactly when you jumped while you're in the air right here, then you started shooting. So I would say you wasted about th a third of your magazine wasted on this person because none of those shots connected. Where if you landed and then shot because shooting in air is very inaccurate and it kind of sucks. You don't really get the shots that you want. Now you wasted already a third of your magazine. Which, if you landed and then shot, this guy would have died a lot faster than that. That's number one. And number two, this guy climbed up right here. You're already reloading. And look at this distance. I would have weapon swapped instead of fully reloaded to fight this lifeline. Because if you weapon swap, hit her with a barrel stuff, massive shot. She's going to get cracked. Hit her for, That's a 100 plus damage shot right there. As long as you're hitting upper chest. So that's going to absolutely annihilate her instead of reloading because right here let's see how much damage you take i mean she didn't get too she didn't get you that bad but if that was a better player she would have fried you maybe even knocked you if it was an r9 with a light mag you know level two level three but this is silver lobbies so make sure your weapon swap in there because you got caught reloading plus those barrel self range you guys aped her together your one shot Not bad. Not bad at all. So something I noticed while you're looting is, especially because you didn't take that battery there, and batteries are pretty rare and medkits to come across, Make sure you're picking batteries, medkits, and attachments that you would normally use for a lighter heavy weapon. Just because you have a purple heavy attachment, you know, like a extended mag, doesn't mean your teammate doesn't have one. So always be sure to ping stuff when it's in the box, just in case. Even if they already have it, it does not matter. Make sure you're pinging it. They should be able to hear it through the headset. Ping multiple items at once. So if they need something, boom, they know exactly where to grab it. It saves a lot of time when you're looting as well as a team, even if they don't have mics or if you weren't even partied up with them. Same thing with that right here. You see there's three batteries there. Ping those. Ping those bat. Ping that stabilizer and the light mag. So you're rotating out of sorting factor. Let's see where you guys go. That's not a bad spot right there. That's a good spot. It's in zone. 
playing the borders of the zone. I like it. it. Prevents a lot of third parties if you play like this. Not a bad smoke by that bang. Just smoke the top of the house. So let's see if they are the aggressor or if they want to wait, play the passive play, let them come to us. They just got portaled on. I'm going to let this clip play out and then we'll review it. I think they're getting third party, the team by the house over there. Yeah, they are. Solo Wraith. That was probably the last one on the original team. I was that was by the house. So let me go back to this before we get into this next gunfight, which was right here. As soon as that bank smoked the roof, you want to full cap, lifeline drop the healing drone. Now they portaled on you guys, so they were actually the aggressor. You guys were playing it back more. And the problem with the play here, let it play out a bit. So that portal's right here, okay? Your full right side is exposed. So even though you might have some good shots here, you don't really tempt it, you don't take them because you know you're gonna be able to get hit from the right side. So that Bangalore on your team should have smoked this area right here. Right here or inside and on top of the house. So that way they don't have an angle on you. The only way they would have an angle on you is if they take the portal or have or have a digital threat pushing up this walkway over here. So that's going to block out this area from gunfire where you can focus this portal only. And anyone who takes that portal is going to get absolutely dumped on. So... The person that made the portal took it back to the house and a teammate, one of their teammates, took it to you guys. So it's a 2v1 in this situation. Weren't able to get the kill. He took the portal back. You got shot from your right because it was exposed. Bang, nearly knocked. And nothing really happened. It was a 2v1 in that situation. You guys couldn't manage to pull that. So again, relying back on that bang smoke, that would have cut off that vision. And you guys could have double teamed them way better. You could have fully extended over here because they wouldn't be able to see you then. I like this taking height though. I like this a lot. You can get your shields cracked though. So falling back on that third party when I said it before. So they're getting thirded right now. You still have your portal. Make a portal from this house that's up here to that fight. Because that portal to the left is about to go away. It's not going to stay there forever. That's a good kill on this Wraith though. So as soon as you fall here, here, I would portal to that house. See what's going on. Because they're going to be weak. They just came out of a fight. You got to go as quick as possible. You can't waste too much time. So that's that team I wanted you guys to portal on. Mirage gets smoked. And you double teamed a Wraith. Now you're getting shot from behind. If you have a... I'm going to let the clip play out, but I guess I'm going to say. shots okay so i think that's it for that clip so let's back it up just a slad bit when his one teammate got knocked which was when he started to get fried so here we go two people pulling up from over here and then one was on the lifeline you get the first knock fairly simple the second player you double team that's that first knock 
You still got, you're looking healthy right now. But your teammate went down right here. Look at, and then your other teammate, he has full red evo, basically full health as well. You should trust him in this gunfight right here. Because if, when your teammate's knocked, you know that guy's going to push. That's simple game awareness. And that's how you get absolutely fried right here. So play it out. You're, you're focused on someone that's one shot where you could have been focusing on someone else. And then you actually almost went down. So let's say if you did go down, that was going to put your teammate in a 1v1 situation, which could have went really bad. Now that just comes with game awareness, time played and high IQ. Uh, you should expect people, you know, if your teammate goes down, someone's going to push you. So your teammate's almost dead. You crank the bat. And that's that lifeline you cracked and then Mastiff at the end, which was some good shots on the Mastiff as well. Yep. All right. So you got a bleed out kill right now. And I also heard footsteps that someone down here, maybe he could have climbed up. I have no idea. He's probably down there though. Look at the ring. Five seconds before closure. You guys are not in zone. The best way to rotate would be from on top. That way you get height on this. It's a geyser ending. Instead of going bottom and then working it, it's just a mess. Rotate up top, make sure no one's up there. And then you guys are clear. Now for that straggler that's left over here, I wouldn't worry about him. You guys are like looking over and uh, really, Wasting a lot of time trying to figure... Yeah, that, there was a rate down there that just phased. Don't even worry about him. Play zone. Rotate up. Look at your life... Who is Teal? Lifeline. She's still worried about him. I have no idea why. You got to rotate as a team there. Take height as soon as possible. And just play next zone. No reason to be... Especially when you get max points like that. Don't worry about stragglers. He's still pinging over there. Like, cannot worry about that. He's going to rotate in. Leave him alone. It's just a solo. Focus on winning the game. Don't focus on random kills like that. So you got vision on the team down low. That's a game pack that they have. Good flatline shots there. That's that solo wraith. See? That's why you don't have to worry about them. Most of the time, they're just going to come to you. She rotated up to them for no reason. She should have just ratted it out. But you see, the kills will come to you. Don't worry about the kills. Just play zone, play placement, and you'll get your points. Even though you already have max points. You got eight points right now. Good stuff. <laughs> this man's hiding the gold. <laughs> I like it. Oh, there's a bang. Man is out of there. That's two people for sure. Because the bang ran down. Someone flew in from that geyser. Off the scene. Let's see how they play. I think that bang is still there though. Oh, he's about to take guys. Yep, that's the bang. That's a geyser. You just ping, do you need heavy ammo? Uh, you, you, you could probably touch up on a little bit of heavy, but there is only two other squads left. You got your massive. You got 100 rounds with this flatline. Fighting one team should be absolutely no problem. Um, so especially if you get a knock, quick thirst, get the loot from him. Not the biggest fan of this weapon combo though, Flatline Mastiff. I mean, that's you're really relying mid to close range right there. You don't really have long range. You could go semi-automatic with the Flatline, but again, there's no anvils anymore, so it won't even be hitting that hard. I like this portal into the gunfight though. It's 
So look what happened there. Your bank teammates absolutely one shot. You portaled into the left side on the big doorways. There's no reason to extend, especially for that bang. I don't know why that bang extended out here to take the gunfight there when you have no escape route. Besides smoking it and running and trying to save your life. If you play around that portal, you have that portal right there. You don't even have to phase. You can just run to the portal right to safety. And you also made the second half of the portal in safe zone. So you know this portal's not going to go away. I would have approached it from this big door instead of this, this small door. Because when you're pushing small doors like this, you don't even need the best shot and you can still get fried. I get fried by people that are a lot less time played than me when it comes with doorway fights. That's why I hate fighting in small doorways like this because you don't really need good gun skill to kill someone. So putting yourself in that situation is kind of tough. I uh, definitely would have taken the bigger doors. That way you, could, you have more room to strafe. Oh man, he has a Devo too. That's even worse. Nice knock. GG. Simple. So that was a two-man team at the end there. I think they were trying to res, but you guys pulled up. Well, video's ended. Oh, look at my video. Click on it. <laughs> That is going to do it for the video, guys. Like I said, if you guys want your video featured, you want your video reviewed, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Link is going to be in the description as well. And then DM me on Twitter with your total kills, what level you are, and your KD ratio. And it has to be a full game with no audio included. Mic audio. We need the game sound, though. I'll also link the first episode of the coaching series in the end screen and on the tab up here somewhere when you're watching this video. So be sure to check out the first one if you haven't already. If you enjoyed today's video, a like rating is always appreciated. Subscribe. Join the Cheerbeat squad. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, this has been your boy, Solon D. I'm signing off. Peace.